Hey guys, Tom here with Hilltop Machine Works. We are back in the shop. Got another project. What you're looking at is a weather vane that I am going to put together and it'll eventually go up to the property up in Virginia. So, <clears throat> the ones on the uh, internet, eBay and Amazon and whatnot, are kind of chintzy, uh, like 14 gauge thickness, and uh, you know, they're just not well built. So uh, what I did is have my buddy Chris um, buzz these out on his plasma cam. These are 3 16 thick. And I got a scale down here for reference so you can see how big this thing is. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Um, and of course, we're a dog lover. So uh, for the theme on top of the weather vane, I got a German Shepherd. So he buzzed this out on his plasma cam. I appreciate it, Chris. So fall along the project. We're going to put this thing together. Uh, I'm probably going to use a thrust bearing I found laying around in some of my stuff so that way this thing can spin real good. Alright, got a uh, chunk of mystery metal chucked up in the Enco. Just going to face her off real quick. Start uh, boring a hole. Probably 1018. Smells like it. Running my CNMG 432 insert. That's my go-to insert. with the boring bar just kind of get an idea where we're at need to take the uh, ID to one inch and two hundred and thirty four thousandths And let's see, it looks like we're at uh, one inch, 25, 35, almost one inch and 36 thousandths.
right, I just finished my last pass. I think I hit my number here. Let's see what we got. So what I got, I got a gauge pin basically holding the thrust bearing here. And so it doesn't have to be a super tight fit, but you know, it's always nice to hit your numbers if you can. And oh man, nice. <laughs> Sweet. Look at that. Looks good, don't it? Alrighty, perfect. Cool. That'll be a nice snug fit. So I got you over here at the mill. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just mill a slot in the top, 3 16 the uh, thickness of the weather vane, and that way it'll s fit right in there nice, and then I can just run a couple of weld beads on both sides. Just going to uh, find the starting point. Basically, going to use an edge finder here. If um, you're new to the channel and you're new to machining, I'll go ahead and show how I uh, find the edges of this stuff. A lot of other YouTube creators have shown the same thing, but I'll just go over it once real quick because a lot of times we just say we just found the edge and I'm starting from a zero. And some of the uh, the newbies to the machining world don't know what we're talking about, so I'll just run through this. do I'm a zero off the back jaw and if you watch it and then eventually it'll kick to one side like that so I'll uh, zero up my DRO come back I'll check it again all right we're good now this is a half inch edge finder so that means when what you got to do then you got to move in 250 thou half the diameter of it and I'm coming up on on the DRO all right so I just found the edge of this so I know where the edge of the part is right from here <clears throat> now I'm gonna do I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna find the edge on this side that way I'll know exactly where the center is and the diameter of this part is 1.752 so half of that is 876 so then I'll move in 876 and then I can mill me a, a slot. Just taking it easy, uh, run about a 50 thousandths cut and uh, uh, 1400 RPM.
should be good. Well, I got it set up ready to weld. Nothing spectacular. Just gonna run a couple MIG beads here. I was originally going to TIG it, but um, can't really get in here that well since I've had to kind of really clamp the, the mess out of it. So just buzz a couple of ER70S6 wire down on this thing and be done with it. And then <laughs> when you get older, you need a pair of cheater glasses. <laughs> I can see a lot better. piece is going to slide into the, the, uh, the stubby that we made for the weather vane that's got the inside thrust bearing. It's uh, just a piece of mystery metal. taking the last pass here. Increase the speed on her, slow down the uh, actually decrease the depth of cut also. But I didn't need to take much. It started with uh, pretty close to diameter piece of stock. It's a uh, one inch and a quarter and I need to only take it down to 1.232 so just barely just skimming the surface here. So let me get it so you can see. Just pulled it off. About a half thou under my measurement but uh Slips on good, look at that. You hear that? <laughs> Wasn't shooting for that, but anyways, but uh, turns nice. Just a light breeze, it should be able to get it. So the plan is to use probably like one inch uh, black pipe. So I'm gonna turn this down just under one inch so it'll slide in to a piece of black pipe and then uh, just clean this up a little bit and we'll weld on this so let's get back over to the lathe alright I got you over here um, such far stick out I had to go ahead and add, a, uh, yeah, add my tailstock here and put in a live center to hold her so this is going to be the stubby that's going to go into the 
uh, one inch ID black black pipe so I'm just gonna turn this down to about 995 give me a little extra I'm not sure how good the specs are on the black pipe I mean <clears throat> don't want to have to try to, to uh, make it fit I'd rather have it a little bit of sloppy fit because it's just gonna slide in and weld in anyways so uh, we'll just bring this down a little bit I got like a hundred and ninety thou to take down <laughs> This should be my last pass to hit my numbers. Sweet. 995 of what I was shooting for. All right. Let's uh, get her out. So over at the mill, um, I could just weld on the north, south, east, and west uh, directional letters, but uh, what fun would that be, right? So <clears throat> plan is uh, just go ahead and mill some slots in it like I did the, uh, the top of the stub shaft. For the German Shepherd and the Arrow, just have it held in a 5C collet block, which would be easy. So all I do is just turn it 90 degrees, turn it 90 degrees, and we'll get around. And we'll have four for uh, four perfect slots. Uh, I'd probably just take about 150 thou deep, 3 16 cutter. Uh, I'm gonna run her from about the line to line. I've already got the center and whatnot, so uh, let's make a pass.
think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set the mister up here, keep it cool and be able to uh, clean the chips out. Hopefully you can see that. That's one done. I'm just going to uh, do the rest of them off camera, and I'll bring you back maybe when I do my last pass on the last one. So, anyways, that's what she looks like. This is kind of my setup to try to keep me dry here. It's just a uh, simple piece of plexiglass with a cheap mag base. Works pretty good. So, and there's my mister right there. Just uh direct from uh, across the pond there in China but works real well picks up runs down goes over to a uh, two liter with a mixture hopefully you pick it up all right just got it wrapped up it was so foggy in here from running that mister that it wasn't worth trying to show you a last pass probably wouldn't have seen anything anyways so there she is wrapped up let's uh, get her out clean up some edges and take a look at her just going handheld here I've got the north west and east and south designations cut in half got it uh, indexed in here so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna buzz some welds on this thing and um, we'll be close to getting this thing done well halfway done Made sure I didn't pull a bozo and put like north and east next to each other. <laughs> so north and south, we're good there. Got to get the east and west on. So I thought I'd uh, show you the setup here. Now that um, I'm getting them all in, it's getting a little tricky. So this is one of those uh, fireball squares. Uh, Fireballtool.com. Um, the guys, I think, out in... Uh, West Coast somewhere that makes these things. Anyways, they're real awesome. I bought the uh, three pack and you assemble them yourself. You can buy them already assembled if you want. But as you can see, you can set any angle you want with this one and then also so you can get in here. So since I've got this radius, it'd be in the way if I used a regular square. So uh, anyways, that's the, uh, that's the setup I used. So uh, let me run that other bead on there and then get the last West designation on there. Oh, there she is, all welded up and uh, cleaned her up with acetone already. So now I've got to uh, pick some collars. I don't have any uh, lube on that thrust bearing, it's just dry right now, but she still spins really nicely, as you can see. She came out, came out good. 
no bozo the letters are the direction they're supposed to be because you know that would really suck if i did it wrong or put one upside down so i marked them so i wouldn't uh screw up so anyways as you can see it uh it rotates nicely dry so i'm thinking about painting it black and then do some brown in there to, to accent the dog the german shepherd probably going to uh Reach out to Mrs. Hilltop. She's a little more artistic than I am. See what kind of colors she thinks uh, we should paint this thing. But anyways, um, pretty much done. Like I said, we'll get some color on it and get some final shots. But the weather vane will be ready to go up to Virginia. Well, <clears throat> after talking with Mrs. Hilltop, she thought either silver, maybe gunmetal, or black would, would work. So um, decided I had some of this steel it stuff got stainless steel in the paint itself it's uh, expensive stuff but it works real well so I figured hey we'll give this a shot and this should be more than durable for what mother nature is going to throw at it so there it is with the first coat looks pretty good I'll uh, hit her again in the nooks and crannies but uh, I guess we'll check this off as project done I hope you guys enjoyed this I uh, appreciate all the new subscribers thanks to uh, all the thumbs up and the views I've been getting. And we'll catch you on the next one, guys.